Tech Geek is a labour of love, and as such, I cannot get it out on a regular basis. If you would like to be informed when a video is released, please go to the website and go to the subscription options. Select RSS, email, Twitter or Facebook and you will be informed when a video is released. Hello Cinematech Geeks, it's James Garden here with another episode and today we're going to have a look at the DCP. I'm going to deconstruct the DCP and give you a deeper insight into what it is and what are actually on those CAU data port drives. Now, unlike traditional um, digital media files like you'd have an eCinema, that's usually one file with the video and audio muxed into the one file. In a DCP, it's, it's very different. Um, a DCP is made up of lots of files. Um, uh, the audio in the video, usually called essences, and also you've got your subtitles and um, um, other tracks that may be in there for, for doing other things like emotional control information or something will also can be embedded in these tracks but also the DCP has other files to help with the well, for the protection the encryption system and for for actually when the DCP arrives on the drive it has all this metadata or data about its data which allows your D DCP play or your SMS or whatever you want to call it Dolby, Dare uh, cube, etc., DDC, you count them all, um, to check the file and make sure it is uh, completely uh, there and, and every byte is where it should be. Uh, so uh, that goes through a long way to um, making sure that the file has been delivered correctly, especially as you may get the file considerably before you actually get the key and you want to know that the file is correct and ready to go. Uh, we still do still recommend that you do do tech checks if you have time or tech checks and put it on the screen and make sure it plays through without any issues but th that sort of data about data helping you do uh, CRCs or checksums on the data goes a long way to, to guarantee this, this this data gets delivered to all the locations and it's all integrity is all 100%. So let's have a quick look at a DCP and the files that are in there and uh, then we'll move on to another sh video and I'll, I'll talk about the security and the KDM. Well, here is a typical DCP. Um, I've got a few listed here, but in a typical DCP, we have the essence files, which usually involve the video and the audio, and may also involve subtitles and other tr other tracks, or uh, you might have extra audio tracks um, or different languages. So you might have two sets of audio files, one for one language, one for a second language, and usually you would have two CPLs. One would be a CPL for the English version, and one would be the CPL for another version. And then there's other ones which include um, the subtitles, etc. So you sometimes when you get a DCP, when you ingest it, you may actually get multiple um, CPLs listed depending on the version you, you are going to play. And each one has to be um, given a key specifically for it. So if you get one with with subtitles and one without, you actually have to be given a KDM to play that particular CPL. All right, so be mindful of that because it, it has. There's been a few problems in the past where the wrong KDM has been sent for the, the wrong CPL. Um, so in here we have the main file, which is the asset map file. I'll we'll just open that in a text editor, and that file is just an XML file which defines what files should be included in, the, in this DCP. Um, so it lists all these files. So if any of these files are missing, the DCP is considered corrupt and not, not fully there. Secondly, for it, we have a CPL, right? And the CPL um, defines all the all the um, essences to build that um, playlist. For example, a feature is made up of reels meaning that's why we have uh, the multiple uh, video files here. So this um, would say um, reference every reel and actually uh, tells you the in point and end point of the video in that file. So with a CPL you can actually, if you want, um, define a new CPL which would actually change the edit of a film. Which is again very useful. One of the main reasons that is done is because you may have a um, a main uh, distribution or, or, or a base version of the, f the feature which is distributed and you may get other um, which are other adjacent DCPs which don't include all of the original files only include for example a different language track 
reference all the original um, uh, essences in the original file but that's an easy way for example so they may distribute it over satellite the main version and then uh, to distribute because they want to have a different versions in different countries they distribute a partial DCP which Ali has all the extra files or extra essences you need and possibly different edit uh, you know it might for example include a different credit run that's in a different language uh, so that it only includes you know the different language for the audio and the different credit run and joins them all together so that's why you have these DCPs and partial DCPs not really something we see in English countries because we usually get in my country because we tend to get the uh, just the main uh, universal one used around the world but in there so that that defines how that all works and uh, that lists all those files and how they should be used and all the information to do with the, the encryption as well is, is, is to help it in here and then we have what's called the package list now a CPL has a package list and the package list defines all the, all the files required for um, that particular CPL to operate so of course a C, uh, CPL may only reference half the files but that CPL has a package list and then it, in here it defines which files it references and the checksums of all the files so a system if it, it can with this data about it you know this is basically meta XML which is commonly called data about data and it can um, use this information to um, like these hashes you can see here uh, is used to do checksums on all the files to make sure the files are exactly as they should be after distribution as they were created in the mastering facility when they get onto your hard drives they go over the um, these hashes and check and read in every single file it could take a while and make sure all the files are exactly what they should be on your hard drives and that's that's so that even when you get a film you may not have the key but if you ingest it it will be verified and you know it is exactly the way the distributor distributed the file exactly byte for byte it's there um, and all then you need is the key and then then you can play the, the file and 99.9999% of the time it's gonna work because all this testing um, all this data to test it and to verify it comes with the DCP anyway so that's um, basically what a CPL is. I'll just show you um, this one down here. This is a CPL with, uh, uh, sorry, a DCP with multiple CPLs in it. So in this one, for example, this was up 3D and it had um, some policy trailers like put on your glasses and there was actually a, another trailer or so that they um, wanted to wanted you to put in uh, different parts of the world that wanted you to play with this, this feature. So they can come as like one of one might be the feature, one might be the policy file, um, etc. So in one DCP, you can actually have multiple different pieces of content. So that's a DCP. Now just uh, remember the name of the DCPs, as you can see here. Um, there's a site, and I'll do another video on how what the all this stuff means and how to decipher it. This OV means original versions. That's that part where. Uh, you might have an original version then you have a, other versions which to, which go with it to make it in a different type of DCP or a different version of the same film.